Hey guys, Niall here from LearnToTradeTheMarket.com and welcome to another Trade Setups video. Today's video I'm going to be talking about a huge gold trade setup we recently discussed in the members weekly trade setups newsletter and I'm going to be talking about a potential trade setup on gold that I see setting up over the next few weeks. So firstly, let's have a look at the zoomed out daily gold chart. We can see the market found strong resistance to that 1295 to 1300 resistance region on several occasions over the last six months. What's interesting to note is that over the past three tests of this 1295 resistance level, the price quickly reversed lower. But on this most recent test of the resistance, price didn't actually reverse lower. Instead, we kind of just consolidated and grinded away under that resistance at 1295. If we zoom in a little bit closer on the daily chart, we can see a large pin bar reversal sell signal uh, formed at that resistance right up against it. But again, there was no follow through to the downside. We just kind of grinded out, went sideways. We can then drill down a little bit further and see these four daily price bars actually formed a coiling inside bar structure. This is actually where you see multiple daily price bars that form within the range of the previous bar. And you can see that on the chart here, these bars are actually forming within the range of the previous bar. So that's a coiling inside bar structure, very powerful. Now, typically when we see those patterns with lots of inside bars compressing like this, it's a flashing light, a warning sign that the market is about to make a major break in one direction but it's important to remember that because this was two weeks ago we didn't actually know which way the market was going to break out at that time so it's kind of a a point where the market's about to do something and then we have to anticipate it and plan the trade from there on this fourth price bar you can see prices did initially break out of the downside and for some this would have been a nice short signal however as you can see the shorts had it wrong and prices quickly reversed off the lows and formed a large bullish pin bar reversal with a long tail this is one of my proprietary price action signals called the fakie setup because prices make a false break in one direction and quickly start moving in the opposite direction. So the first move was a fake out. That's designed to trap most of the retail money on the wrong side of the market. It's a very powerful price action setup that shows the psychology of what's taking place between the buyers and sellers at that time. We have like the majority of the traders betting on the wrong side of the market only to get squeezed out of their positions as price moves the other way. It's like a self-fulfilling momentum. Prices start to move the other way, traders start panicking, they stop out, they liquidate, and then ultimately the professionals come in and drive the price through to new highs. Okay, for anybody short, the fakie pattern was a clear signal to get out of shorts and reverse to longs. And for those traders not in a trade, this was a clear signal to take a long position. At the close of this bullish pin bar, we took an aggressive entry at the market price and as you can see in the following few days, prices rallied strongly through that previous resistance at 1300 and beyond. Now personally, I like to trade fakies where the false break bar is a really clear pin bar, like the one we have in this example. But there are four different types of fakies and I expand in more detail about these in my trading courses. So if you miss this trade, the question now is where is gold headed and how can we trade it from here? Well, given that price has shown its hand and started trending strongly above the previous resistance at 1295 to 1300, we would assume that this level is going to act as a strong support. In fact, after the first breakout, price has actually retested that level here and quickly pushed higher. So from here, the best potential trade that I can see would be to be buying gold if prices fall back towards that 1295 to 1300 major level. We would either wait for a price action buy signal in that area or just blindly jump in around that 1300 area. If we zoom out on the daily chart again, we can see the technical picture for gold looks pretty bullish now that we're above that 1300 resistance. And I guess until prices collapse below that support, we can assume prices are going higher. Obviously, if prices fail, that's potentially a good sign to close any longs and reassess the chart. The next major level is around these 1370 to 1400 levels, and that would be my first upside target. But it's possible that we could even move higher than that long term. So for now, I'm buying gold on any price tips down towards that support, and I'll be setting profit targets up around 1370 to 1400. If you'd like to receive more trade setups ideas and trading lessons like this, please head over to learntotradethemarket.com. Be sure to sign up to our newsletter mailing list, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, safe trading.